Hey kindergarten, it's Mrs. Shivani again, and I am back with our last story for review week. And this is a good one because it's about shopping, and I love to shop. I do, it's true. So, this book is the same character, is about the same character that was in our last story about that silly hungry crab. I remember that one? So, this is Anne, and I remember, do you remember how old she is? 10. She's 10 years old. And she goes shopping, and something happens to her dress, and it's not very good. So, let's read, and we're going to see a bunch of sight words, we're going to see a bunch of diagraphs, we're going to see a bunch of uh, two letters together that make one sound. It's going to be a lot. And today, how about we echo read? Sound good? Okay. So, I'll read, then you read. Let's start with the title. Anne's dress. Anne's dress. Anne went to Gwen's dress shop. Anne went to Gwen's dress shop. The shop had a red dress. Anne got the dress. Anne got the dress. Ooh, she must be really excited. And I see right here, she is at Gwen's Dress Shop. And their address is 124 West Elm. She looks really excited. She looks like she is happy that she's purchasing this dress. Maybe she thinks, ooh, I like this. It looks good on me. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Anne got in a cab with the dress. Your turn. Anne got in a cab with the dress. The cab man sped off. The cab man sped off. His cab went fast. Then the cab hit a big bump. Then the cab hit a big bump. Ooh, I'm having a text-to-text -text connection. Do you remember in Sam's story that we read back when we were in our classroom about the car, his mom's car, and they went over a big bump and the car got damaged? Remember that? Uh-oh. Bumps and cars do not go together. Huh. Thump. You gotta read with expression. Exclamation point. That means yes. Thump. Anne's dress fell from the cab. Your turn. Anne's dress fell from the cab. Oh no. Oh, how do you think she's feeling? Worried. Really worried. Okay, let's keep reading. Anne had the cab man stop the cab. Your turn. Anne had the cab man stop the cab. Then Anne ran back to say word. Get the dress. Your turn. Oh, Anne had to run 10 blocks. Anne had to run 10 blocks. That is a very long distance. Oh, good thing she's got her fingers on, huh? Yeah, let's keep reading. Oh, man, just looking at this picture cue. Ooh, or clue. Oh, man. <laughs> Didn't this happen in our other story about Sam and the pond? Now another dog is doing something. Let's read. Anne's dress was in a trash can. Anne's dress was in a trash can. A bus had hit it. A bus had hit it. A dog bit it. A dog bit it. 
The dress had mud on it. The dress had mud on it. The dress had rips and missing bits. The dress had rips and missing bits. Anne's dress was a mess. Anne's dress was a mess. Oh no. If I were Anne, I would be feeling so frustrated that the new dress that I just bought that I was so excited to wear is now a mess. Does this look like a dress you would want to wear? No. I see footprints. I see rips. I see mud. Oh, I see tire tracks right here from where the bus must have gotten it. Oh, man. This is not a happy ending to the story. We need to make up our own. What do you think happens next? Oh, how about this? Draw a picture of what you think might happen next and send it to me on Dojo. I would love to see your ideas because this book absolutely needs a better ending, huh? We can't just leave it like this because that's the end. Oh no. So do that for me and have a great rest of your afternoon and have a good day off tomorrow. There is no school tomorrow. It's a day off and then you have Saturday and Sunday off and then on Monday we'll be back with brand new things to learn. Sound good? I love you guys. Miss you so, so, so much.